How many times can you cut a piece of wood that is 5 and 2 tenths feet long into pieces that are 1 and 3 tenths feet long? In this lesson, you will learn how to divide decimals by using the standard algorithm. Let's review. In order to divide with decimals, you need to remember how to multiply by powers of 10. This chart shows what happens to different numbers when we multiply them by powers of 10. In the first example, 3 and 12 hundredths, when we multiply it by 10, it becomes 31 and 2 tenths. When we multiply it by 100, it becomes 312. And when we multiply it by 1,000, it becomes 3,120. Let's also review division problems. Here's one division equation. Imagine there are 10 students in a class, and the teacher wants to divide them into groups of two. She will have five groups at the end. This problem can also be written like this, or like this but it's important to know that the parts of the division problem are always the same. The number of students in the class, 10, is known as the dividend. The number of students in each group, the 2, is known as the divisor. And the number of groups, 5, is known as the quotient. A common misunderstanding is that the decimal point doesn't matter. Let's take a look at dividing with whole numbers. Here we have 10 divided by 5. Imagine you have 10 apples and you wanted to break them into groups of five. You see that there are two groups. But when we divide with decimals, something different happens. Here we have 10 divided by 5 tenths. So let's start with the same 10 apples, but now we're dividing them into groups of half an apple. So if we did that, in the end, we would have 20 groups. So it's not true that the decimal point doesn't matter. In fact, it's very, very important when we divide. Let's get into the steps for dividing with decimals. Here we have an example of 8 tenths divided into 4 and 88 hundredths. Before we can actually solve this problem, we should always estimate to make sure that we're in the right ballpark. We know that 8 tenths is close to 1, and that 4 and 88 hundredths is close to 5, and that 1 goes into 5 5 times. So our answer should be somewhere around 5. Now let's look at the first step. You should change the divisor into a whole number by multiplying by a power of 10. So here's our divisor, 8 tenths. And in order to change it to a whole number, we have to multiply it by 10. And we would get 8. So now our problem looks like this. The next step is to multiply the dividend by the same power of 10. So here's our dividend. And since we multiplied the divisor by 10, we also have to multiply the dividend by 10. So if we did that, we would get 48 and 8 tenths. So now our problem looks like this. The last step when dividing with decimals is to bring up the decimal point and divide as normal. Here's what it would look like. Notice that the red arrow shows where you should put the decimal point in the quotient. So our final answer would be 6 and 1 tenth. In this lesson, you have learned how to divide decimals by using the standard algorithm.